Well, I don't even know where to begin. There's nothing to talk about. Everything is the same. Uh, I wanted to talk about chemtrails, and I've noticed. Now, now, I don't know if they're real. I can't prove anything. You know, hey, read this. Oh, it says they're real. The government said, who, who, well, who wrote this? Well, the government wrote it. <laughs> Why would I believe that? But I will acknowledge that it's very strange that these things linger in the sky for hours after the planes. I don't know. And, and it's also very strange that they come in all these different directions. You know, they're perpendicular. They're 180 degrees. You know, one going this way, one going, you know, like, I thought planes had a real rigid, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I noticed these things up there, and they're there for a long time, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But the point is, I haven't seen them in months. It's like they're completely gone. I don't know if you've noticed that. I thought it was interesting. I don't know. But on another more boring front, I saw this. Um, I mean, what is the point? Why am I even bother looking? Why, why do I look at this stuff? Because I was looking for something to talk about. And here we have these people at Whole Foods all bent out of shape. Here, let's listen to the video real quick. Hopefully you can hear it. I think it's Marsha Brady. By side outside of the Whole Foods in Cambridge. We've been told to take our masks off um, or leave without pay. It's going on day eight. So, you know, they're going to, they're all upset because they can't wear the mask that they want to wear. See, now it's all about wanting to wear the mask. I find this very strange and interesting. You know, before the argument was uh, wear a mask or don't wear a mask. You know, and, uh, you know, people, <laughs> people talk about their constitutional rights. I can't believe people still do that. It's just so, like, uh, absurd to me to think that there's rights. You know, where, where did you get the, the notion that you had rights? Uh, you know, you learned that in a textbook somewhere, heard it from a teacher or, or you know, there are no rights. The only rights that you have are the ones that the government gives you and the government takes them away. Oh, my rights are from God. Well, then why did the government take away God's rights? I mean, th this whole thing is just absurd. But my point is, it's interesting how this debate just changed, right? It was, you know, a couple weeks ago just about wearing a mask. Hey, where's my right to not wear one? Well, you have the right to wear one. And now it's about the right to wear um, the appropriate mask or the mask that has the message on it. And this gets all the more confusing. And by the way, just I don't want you to think something strange here. Like um, you can see here behind my head and over here, everything's backwards. Um, I, I have these masks. <laughs> I'm not like, uh, oh, he's supporting. No, no, no. I'm not supporting anybody. I don't support. I don't do that. But, you know, when we had to get masks, I, I went out and got some masks. I guess I thought, you know, it would be funny to wear that. Go down to Walmart and just put on that. But I didn't do it. I, I chickened out. You know, you know, I don't want to stir the pot and get beat up and get chased or not get my groceries. So um, that's why they're hanging there. They're just sort of, I, I, it's I, irony. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? You know, the masks. And now they're, they're, they're clamoring on uh, about not going to work because of the mask. And I find this all the more peculiar because I thought things were bad economically right now, like really bad. You know, like uh, like really bad. And of course, maybe they're not. You know, I, I look at charts. Here's a good one, right? This is like, you know, from the 1960s, unemployment, you know, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, like, it's this banana moonshot. It, it's, it's gone bananas banana no it's like a you know what I mean it's it's so extreme uh, you know you've seen it and I don't know if they're real this is what I don't understand why people like you know they don't trust the government I don't trust the media and then they look at these numbers. aha I mean they've been saying for years well the unemployment numbers aren't real the government you know they don't give you the real numbers and then all of a sudden this comes out aha look at the horrible mess we're in I don't, why aren't they saying, no, th these aren't real either? You know, maybe maybe this number is much higher. I don't know. Th but I thought things were really bad. 
and I guess they are somewhat. I know Pizza Hut filed for bankruptcy and Wendy's and Hertz rental car and Chesapeake Energy or whatever. So something's going on. But I don't really know anybody. I mean, I think I know one or two people that have lost their jobs. But my point is, if things are so bad, like 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 real bad, like the worst ever bad, what do you mean you're clamoring on about some uh, mask? You know, you, I'll, I'll just go home and not work. I, I feel completely uncomfortable giving them any of my dollars. So uh, she doesn't want to shop there. She's uncomfortable shopping there because the employees are not allowed to wear the masks that they want. I'm trying to give you like a... Until their here we go. Line and rights, and that's equal rights. Until so they're talking about rights and equal rights. There's no such thing. You know, it's all just... It's just, it's just so absurd. And, and, and in the middle of this, like, economic pandemic... Um, I just don't get it. <laughs> it's just so absurd. It's not even that the stories are out there. It's that people like flock to the stories and they have an opinion of the story and like, oh man, you know, people are going to be like, uh, we're going to boycott Whole Foods too. You know, that overpriced uh, supposedly Whole food. I don't know. I've been there before. I, I buy stuff every now and again. I go there. And then there's going to be another group of people like, oh, we got to go support Whole Foods. You know what I mean? That, that, this is what happens. And then, you know, they'll be arguing and, and wasting their time and getting upset. You know, they're boycotting. Oh, we got to end that boycott. Yesterday there was a big um, traffic jam, you know, because last week there was all these protests, you know, the Black Lives Matter. And then yesterday they were blocking traffic because it was Blue Lives Matter. You know, so that, this whole other thing came in and, you know, I just want everyone to get out of the way. You just get out of the road. Whatever. Do whatever you want. You're right. You're right. Just get out of my way. Right? I'm not going to any rally or anything. I'm just trying to get home. I don't get it. Whatever. All right. So, anyway, finally, I'll, I'll just... Uh, why do I bother? I came across this, right? This is why I don't look at the news. I just... I don't want to know. I don't want to see anything. And, again, I just... I can't understand it. It's just... Here, here, here we go. Watch this video. We have a new comment. Whoa. A new comment coming in. And I'm like, how does anyone look at this and think it's real? I, it's just beyond my... And there's a the comment. How, how, why wouldn't intelligent people or even unintelligent or any just people look at this and go, it's a little suspicious here. That's kind of strange. I don't know if I believe that. Because, um, I mean, it's just how, it's just another indication of how, how far gone. It's just so far. I mean, on so many different levels. I mean, we can't even look at a cartoon and simply ask, hmm, that, you know, is that real? I mean, we can't even, like, just ask a simple question. Hey, that looks a little strange to me. I don't know. I, that, that's uh, not what I would expect. I mean, we can't even do that. And by the way, I made a video, I don't know, a year ago, and it was about hypnosis. And I was making the argument, I, I'd seen some videos where people were being hypnotized, you know, by some, some guy, you know, he's got like an audience, a couple hundred people, like, let me, ten volunteers, and uh, uh, randomly, I mean, I don't know, he's, you, 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 come up here, and then he hypnotizes them. Sort of like, uh, n nothing serious, but like, he'll say the magic word or whatever, and then, the one guy will start smelling a funny smell that doesn't exist or, or something like that. And I was thinking, if that's real, I mean, we're in trouble. Because that would indicate to me that we're all hypnotized in some way, shape, or form. But I don't know if it's real. It just seems like, oh, oh if you take, pick 10 volunteers at random, and, uh, oh, you know, I, got them, I got them predetermined, right? Well, I know a guy personally, and I know other people that were with him he went to this event, and this is a long time ago, but he was hypnotized, you know, just sort of like benignly or whatever, sillily, sillily. And um, I forgot what it was that he did, or maybe he thought he could smell or hear something. But he's like, yeah, you know, when it ended, it was over, and, uh, you know, I'm back to normal. And I'm like thinking, I didn't say anything. I'm just like, what do you mean back to normal? <laughs> What are you talking about? What what would possess you to think you're back to normal? I mean, how do you know he didn't do something else, right? I'm not suggesting a Manchurian candidate, but 
I mean, it's real, at least in some regard, which says to me, you know, some hack out there with an audience. He's picking, I mean, what about the guy that trained him, who's like infinitely better, or the, or the guy that trained the guy that trained him? You know what I mean? You, you get to degrees of, uh, of expertise. And then what if you have certain equipment? I mean, my point is, like, you know, looking for like some sort of like uh, answer to explain just the complete and total idiocy of society and, and whatever. You know, we act as if we're all brainwashed or under some sort of spell, and that's probably exactly what has happened. Not not going to the concert and seeing the magician or wh- whatever he is, but, you know, it, this is an art, and I'm sure lots of people are able to do it. You know, they probably do it with advertising and marketing, music, or whatever, everything. You know, we know about subliminal. I mean, we already know this. We already know they do it with subliminals. We've known this for, you know, 50 years, right? And do it in music, I'm sure. Not just playing things backwards, but just putting stuff in there that you don't hear it, but it's going on. We all know about this. And of course, I mean, it, it just stands to reason that, that this agenda, whatever you'd want to call it, is probably far beyond what anyone can even fathom, other than me. I, I, I fathom it's all-encompassing. I have no reason to doubt that. I mean, if, if, if they're able, or they, or if, if some average guy is able to hypnotize some other average guy, because that's what it looks like. You know, just you know, just some little thing in, in a matter of minutes. Well, man, if there's an expert around, you know, it's like, well, he could probably hypnotize a whole stadium of people in, in 10 seconds, and they wouldn't know it. And then, of course, you add to it all the media, all the TV, the computer, you know, the, the frequencies that are being emitted, everything, the 5G, whatever. I mean, if, how could society not leap to this conclusion... That, of course, you know, and I remember Matt, Matt over at um, Quantum, um, and this was maybe when he was Texas Shrugged, back in the good old days, breaking down the video, my, how far we've come. He was proposing something like, uh, what if our thoughts aren't even our thoughts? And at the time, I, I like, I don't, I don't really get it, you know, I mean, that seems like that seems kind of far-fetched. But now it doesn't seem far-fetched at all. It makes perfect sense. I mean, you know, depending on, I guess, how aware or woke, how woke you is, how awake you are, you know, the, the, the more and more you're, like, into this stuff. I mean, of course, if you're into politics and whatever, you're watching TV all the time. You know what I mean? You can be into anything. Well, you're, you're going to be in front of the TV. I, I'm in front of the computer right now. Who's to say what's emitting, you know, at a frequency that I don't physically hear? But the more involved you are in something, the more you are, uh, you know, putting yourself in front of these things. So it just makes sense to me. And it's very, it seems very possible on a, on a logical front. That the art of manipulation, you know, aside from marketing and advertising, I mean, it's it's far beyond what we realize. I mean, you ever hear that, uh, maybe it's out of the, I don't know, I want to say the Book of Enoch. I forgot where I heard this, but like, um, like your body is an antenna? I don't know. I, I, you know, and they were talking about like jewelry and stuff like that, how this sort of acts as, uh, you know, uh, I should probably look more into that before I start yapping away, but I'll just let that go. But anyway, I had an advertisement I was going to show you, but I, I, I'm not interested. It's just no point. So more of the same. I wish I had more, uh, you know, interesting things to talk about, but it's just, it's just so, it's so, it's so saturated. Every, society is just so saturated with just absurdness. I mean, absurdness is, is a compliment. I can't, I can't even, I don't have the words. I don't have the words to describe just the uh, what I see, how I see it. It never ends. It just gets worse every day. It's just a little like, man, I can't believe how ridiculous it is. More absurd than I ever would have thought. But whatever. Anyway, that's all I got. The end. <laughs>